Hello. This is my overview video of my Daystate Red Wolf Midnight. Now, I bought this rifle at the uh, tail end of February from the Airgun store in Essex. And I've got to be honest with you, I absolutely love this rifle. I didn't think I'd love it as much as I actually do. And there's so many reasons for it. Uh, the fact that, first of all, the stock looks absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you could hang this on a wall and just sit there for hours looking at it. Secondly, it's it's laser accurate. I mean, it gives my Delta Wolf a serious run for its money. Um, I'll show you some of the groupings in a bit. Um, but it's blown me away in terms of how accurate it is. And thirdly, just as a rifle, it feels beautiful to hold. Uh, and it's gorgeous to shoot. Um, the trigger is, honestly, it's sublime when you're shooting it with uh, from a bench or even from the shoulder. It's beautifully balanced. Um, the um, cocking levers, it's as smooth as butter. And when you've got everything kitted out as I have, just as I want it, it's almost if not one of the perfect rifles. I mean, it's seriously challenging me in terms of if I had to pick this or the Delta Wolf, I'm, 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 I don't know which one I'd pick. I'm, I'd, I'd both, obviously, but it'd be hard push to pick one. Um, I do want to talk about why I love it so much and also some of the, the kind of few challenges I faced with it. Um, but I'd start off by saying when you buy this rifle, it doesn't come in a really nice case like this. This is a case that came with the deal that uh, I managed to get from uh, the store. And um, there are a few other things that came with the deal. I'll talk about those in a moment. But um, this is, uh, I think, a Negrini hard case, the same kind of case that uh, the other large day state um, rifles come in. I mean, they branded it the Air Gun Center. Um, but uh, ultimately... Uh, I may get another day state case and swap this one over and uh, give this case to one of the other rifles I've got, which desperately needs a hard case. So the way I've kitted out my case or the contents of my case is that first of all, over here, I store my magazines and just to kind of go over what happens. I mean, I, one came with the rifle. I purchased a spare one so far, but I do intend to buy some more. When you do buy spare mags, there's a little silver um, pin which comes uh, separately in the bag and there are no instructions with it. But what you've got to do is go to the Day State website or just go online and uh, there are kind of guides on how to get this pin in. Sometimes you see people there gently tapping it in with a hammer. What I did was... There's a, a malleable piece of wood in our kitchen, which I used, and I gently pushed it against that wood. And the wood was hard enough to push it in very, very gently, a little bit at a time until it reached its resistance. So I used that, which was nice. Um, so I've got my two magazines over here. And then over here, I've got my filler probe in this a uh, little box that I uh, stole from my wife. Uh, I've got my single shot tray and I've got the uh, the end of the shroud and I've got my Allen keys. Bear with me one second. I'll just put this away. I've also over here got my bipod, which came with the deal. I've got my silencers, which I'll talk about in a moment. I also, as part of the deal, got this um, bottle clamp I haven't used it yet along with the bipod and again I'll, I'll tell you why because I, when I shoot from a bench I use a, a bag um, and for zeroing I'll show you what I use uh, this really nice uh, clamp I purchased um, but this uh, Sabre Tactical um, bottle clamp I do intend to attach it along with the bipod uh, but I, I want to get uh, an AccuTac and and try that out instead of the, the, the bipod which came with the deal and then you've got the, the charger so let's take the rifle out and uh, just have a little bit of a closer look at it. So first thing I want to talk about with the rifle is the actual, uh, the buttstock, believe it or not, and the cheek rest. Now, the cheek rest um, 
comes essentially when they're making the factory there are separate pieces attached to each rifle and you're lucky if you get a, a cheek rest which fits the design of your the rest of your your stock now this is strange for me because on one side if you notice the graining here uh with the black design it actually matches the actual um the actual uh cheek rest on this side it's fine however if i flip the rifle round on this side the design doesn't match slightly offset it's not too much of a niggle, but still, it's there. The fact that it works on one side and it isn't on another. Also, when this came, the, the cheek rest was slightly offset. And you can reposition this if you basically, uh, on the other side, which I'll just flip it over because I'm going to talk about the other side as well. There's something on there I want to talk about. There's obviously a little uh, screw here that you just take an Allen key to. And then you can raise the cheek rest and you can adjust the, the cheek rest in terms of left and right and also up and down. Mine was offset slightly, so I just repositioned it to sit more plush and straight on the rest of the butt. Another kind of minor discrepancy with the stock I noticed, which I don't know, it just niggled me because I'm a bit of a perfectionist, was the fact that I've got, I don't know if you can see it, this little line here and also this tiny little dent over here, almost like it had been knocked very very gently but still it was just something that bugged me and and i guess from my perspective I, I do want for the price something like properly perfect but it was forgivable after i'd shot it and i thought you know what it's part and parcel of the the personality of the rifle i mean just just holding this rifle it's absolutely gorgeous to hold it feels it feels absolutely beautiful the the laminate stock in your hand the stippling on the actual um uh, uh, hand rest. Um, it's 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 so so gorgeous. So what I want to do now is just quickly take the opportunity to show you a couple of things that I did with the rifle. So let's just close this, and let's just quickly get this piece of equipment which I use whenever I zero my rifles, which is there we, go. there we go i'll just pop the rifle down now this caldwell precision turret um i know some people really don't like uh shooting from what they call a vice but i find this piece of equipment really really useful when i'm zeroing one of my scopes uh and now's a good opportunity to talk about this scope this scope I managed to also get with the deal and it's a, a hawk sidewinder 30 sf and here's a few more details it's a um an 8 by 32 by 56 it's a half mil and that's essentially the uh the crosshair detailing it's a christmas tree which in all fairness is absolutely superb when i've used it it comes with this um, focus wheel, which it, it was a bit finickety to 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 attach. You had to basically get get it in the right position, use these Allen keys to secure it in place. Comes with this nice little attachment for the actual um, focus, which was really nice. Uh, and the turrets are really really nice there's very little mush if at all really nice clicks and i'm just mindful that i've uh potentially adjusted my zeroing there so uh i'll have more fun when i go out shooting but ultimately it's a really really nice scope the only thing is, when I purchased the rifle, it came with high mounts. Now, these mounts aren't high enough for the, the scope to sit for the eye relief I actually wanted. Now, for the eye relief I wanted, actually, I wanted my eye relief, my head to rest actually here. Instead, it rests a little bit too close to the end of the, the cheek rest, which is here, so that... Um, the turrets can sit forward because if I move it back so the turrets sit directly over where the magazine rests, 
which is where I would I ideally like the optimal eye relief. Unfortunately, the turrets interfere with the magazines going in because the scope um, mounts are too low. They need to be higher. But herein lies a catch-22. If I get high mounts, then that means raising my cheek rest. And I really don't want to raise my cheek rest because I love the fact that the cheek rest sits plush with the, the rest of the, the stock. I mean, some people uh, will probably say, look, just get over it. But part and parcel of me owning a uh, Red Wolf Midnight is the visual aesthetic. And I love this all in one look and feel and raising the, the actual cheek rest. Sure, I'm going to get the protrusions and functionally it will be fine. And it would mean then if I can get high mounts, I could, you know, move the scope slightly back and rest my cheek over here. But at the cost of putting my uh, cheek over here slightly forward and mounting the, the scope slightly forward, it's uh, something I'll live with just so that the rifle looks absolutely gorgeous. So one of the other things that I... Uh, essentially focused on was uh, getting the, the rifle's uh, silence, uh, the right silencer. So I started off with my Neelix, which is what I've got over here. Now, um, I love this silencer. It's my favourite uh, silencer for pretty much all my um, air guns. I've got one specifically made for my Delta Wolf and um, that one's been shaved and it's got an M20 thread. This one's a half inch UNF. So uh, please feel free to go and watch my Delta Wolf overview review. Um, that's also on my channel. Um, but when you see this attached on the, uh, the Midnight, it makes the Midnight look, gives it some serious visual aesthetic. A, because the Neelix is carbon fibre design, matching the carbon fibre finish on the rest of the shroud. Two, it's got a, some serious length to it, which increases the serious length of the actual rifle as well. So, I mean, ultimately, as you can see, it just looks the business when you've got a Neelix attached. I cannot recommend this enough from the A&M guys. Really nice guys, fantastic work they do. Um, their silencers are the best silencers I've ever used. Um, I've also got, I'll show you this, a Twink C, which I also love. Slightly shorter, same design, but um, I, I would say it's not as um, effective as the Neelix. I mean, the Neelix, because obviously it's a, it's a longer silencer, compared to the Twink C. I mean, you can see the difference. Here's the Twink C, here's the Neelix. They're, they're, they're two definitely different in size. But uh, if, you, if, you, if you do want something very, you know, slightly shorter, but still very, very good, then go for a Twink C. Go for a Twink C on your, uh, on your Red Wolf or Red Wolf Midnight or Red Wolf Safari whatever you got, or if you're lucky enough to get one of these new ones when they come out soon, which God, I hope I am, uh, then you could use this on your new Red Wolf, which is, again, look at it, a brilliant silencer, which complements the rest of the rifle brilliantly. Now, part of the deal I had was I actually got a 0DB um, as well, uh, as well as all the other little bits and bobs that I got with this uh, deal from the Air Gun Centre. So I got this. Um, now, they were going to give me a black one, but uh, I actually got a uh, a, a blue 0dB uh, silencer. Just one of the stock... Um, si I think it's a 3-inch it's a, a, a three, three inch one, but still... It looks really nice. I really like the look of it. I mean, I've seen these. These come uh, in slightly large size and I've seen these in a lighter blue. So I was really pleased when they sent me this one. Um, a nice kind of darker blue to match the rest of the Midnight. And again, if I look at this all together, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I love the fact that it matches this and 
you know what it gets great groups with this but i find it does it fantastic groups with the actual neelix uh, i want to show you the groups so first of all i want to say that i actually use this when i do my bench rest here i mean it's a bsa gun bag um and i filled it with um bean bag beans so it's 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 really really nice and light but still when when you're bench resting it it's got some really nice stability especially if you put some weight to it i mean it took a while to pack this thing probably about 40 minutes to an hour just to pack it and repack it but ultimately yeah and i know you can get some really nice uh bags out there but i found that to be fair this one uh along with its um little um counterpart which is this uh it's done it's done me all right for now um but as i said earlier i'd love to get an accutac bipod uh, uh a g2 and here are my groupings now let's start off with this one these are the first set of uh shots i put through the, the rifle zeroing and then i think i went on to do these rows here and then i finished on this row here uh on the 7th so i shot on the 28th of february and on the 7th from 200 bar to 103 bar using range master sovereigns 8.44 grain at 22 and a half yards uh and i know some people will say that's not very far but what can you do in lockdown when you've only got a garden and um limited range so you've got to do what you've got to do otherwise i know i won't get my air gun itch scratch so to speak and even at that range i mean look at these groups 13 shot groups definitely under a five pence piece um and then i basically filled the rifle up to 150 bar and took it back down to again 103 bar and again with the same pellets got these five and three groups i mean some of these five and threes are absolutely amazing i mean this 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 group over here uh, and uh, this group over here they I, I was absolutely blown away when i was just in the zone and getting these groups off um and it's only when you know there was a couple of odd occasions over here uh towards the bottom end when the rifle was uh, approaching 103 where i could see it was slowly losing its edge but even then under the five pence piece but on point going through the same hole amazing absolutely absolutely amazing so i absolutely absolutely adore this rifle absolutely adore it i mean given the opportunity of buying one of the new ones when they first come out which is very very soon it'll be so so good i mean i love this in blue i think it'll be amazing in an all black stock if it does come out in an all black stock i've seen some tape teaser images it looks like it could be that i hope it is um and if it is then i'm in trouble or my bank balance will be um don't get me wrong i will not be selling this i love this rifle and i intend to keep this rifle um but i know if a new all black laminate stock limited edition comes out i'm going to be in trouble because i adore this i adore the delta wolf and again please watch my delta wolf overview video uh, and you'll see obviously just how much i love that and i've given a i think a, a good overview of my time with that rifle too so i think this is yeah this is it my overview video on my day state red wolf midnight if you've liked this video please like what you see and please subscribe to the channel i'll be doing some more videos on some of my existing rifles which are still very exciting rifles and also fingers crossed some new ones very very soon Thank you very much and see you soon.